COVID just hit the whole country uh, just in a different way, emotionally, socioeconomically, and it was really, really important for us to try to find different ways to keep our kids together, keep them engaged, because basically when you're off from March all the way through until June, the kids morale was down, the emotional state was all in flux. I really believe that a lot of these kids, whether you're an athlete or not, really needed some professional help. Just listen to, to the depression issues that these kids were going through. Kids lost a lot of scholarship opportunities because they couldn't participate in camps. So you saw a breath of fresh air when the kids were about to get back on the field and play because in different communities, sports means different things to different people. So with our kids, there's a core group of them that have an opportunity to get a scholarship. White, you got to know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, and you 
you're running hard, you're a good football player. And last but not least, Jalen Edwards. You've got to know your body. You should not be inside taking a dump. We're supposed to be out here. That's like if North Cam over fourth quarter. We're like, all right, we got to put this drive together. Where's Jalen? Taking a shit. That looks stupid, right? <coughs> Outside of that, it was a great day of practice. Now the challenge is who's gonna come back tomorrow ready to work. I don't think you raise your hand and say me. I understand that. Mine right game time. You know my sports schedule is hard for me to be here. When I come here, I come to inspect what I expect from you guys. Okay? Everybody understand that? Yeah. Inspect what I expect from you guys. You know what I mean? I know what they're doing. Are you doing what you need to do? Mind right, game time. It's time for us to take to another level. Hey, good work. Hey, good work. Good work. So, so here's the deal. So here's the deal. We're one day closer now to North Can Hoop. This this uh, coming Saturday, we got Action East in the scrimmage. The following week, we play uh, Hudson on a Thursday for a scrimmage. And then August 20th is what? Okay. Gang day. All right, we just have to keep getting better each and every day. Physically, we are a phenomenal football team, but mentally, we got to take it up another step. We got to know our assignments. We can't get all down on ourselves when the coach starts uh, coaching you hard. Allow yourself to be coached. We're not going to stop. We're going to keep applying pressure. That's the only way we're going to get better. All right? Yes, Bring a lunch tomorrow. If you don't have a lunch or you can't bring a lunch, we got you covered. If you can bring a lunch, try to bring something. But again, the day is over with. Tomorrow we got to start all over. We got to get another percent better, another five percent better, another fifty percent better. You got to be mentally tough. You always say, "What did I wear on my shirt last night?" You feel different. You got to be feel different. All right. So keep it up. Mine right, game time. Mine and Travell, see me tomorrow for Gatorade. I'm going to say this for this dude right here. This dude trying to say, I got to pull him off the scout team to come take reps. Where I'm trying to get some of y'all young, oh, younger dudes to get in there and get reps. Like that dude right there took reps. Get in there and take reps. I should have to pull him out for y'all dudes to get reps. Young guy, that's the only way you get to the field. You got to show me every day. You gotta be consistent. If you don't show me every day, you're not getting on the field. Plain and simple. All right? All right, let's get a break. Get out of here, brother. Hey, hey Christmas, stay back. Round oh, one with me in the end zone. Hey, drop all three. Come on, where y'all at? Hey. Right, so three, yeah. Yeah. Right, one, two, three. Right. 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 Right.
Sit down, you gotta sit down. Here we go, work, 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 work. work. Come on back, come on back. Look at time. You ain't tired. No, you ain't tired. Here you go. Here we go. Say low, say low, say low. Training camp is grueling. It, it's a grind. Even, you know, for the old heads, we did a, we did a month or two a days. So now, even these young kids, they only get seven or eight two-a-days, but it's still a grind mentally because they just have to stay focused. We have a lot of kids we're about to prove this year. Our quarterback, Darion Fair, started to surface last year as a kid that could be a, a, a big-time player, but now he got his sophomore year under his belt. Now his junior year, he has to step his game up and really become that guy. A gentleman like Elijah, Elijah's got to step up and be a big time contributor on both sides of the ball. I feel like our preparation has been good. We've been watching film on Hoover, heck, since, I don't know, March. Just looking at different things that they do, trying to make sure that these kids are in the best uh, situation to be successful. And just this whole training camp is nothing about, nothing more than attention to detail. Looking for the guys to take steps forward, make positive improvement. And we've been working at this since June. Akron is a really good football team, so they'll be physical and aggressive. So it'll give us a good measuring stick of where we stand. That was fire all of you right now. None of you doing your job. So I rolled on the board yesterday, coaching staff. If you go in the train and they're putting you on the book, you four skill guys on the board. Not one coach, skill guys. It's time to get out on the field. All your coaches sitting in the parking lot talking, kids joking around, kids still doing final form, half the team's not dressed appropriately. Excuse me, sir, you gotta get off the field. Okay. Should be done. We're in game mode right now. Everybody, take all your equipment. Go back and the shirt in the bed in the locker room. Everybody, go back and the locker room. Coach, go get a ball. That's a lot.
to see it. Every game, you're going to be the target. Because once somebody scouts us and they see that you get upset that easily, oh, well. That will probably never see the field for them. What's the question? Okay, so, so answer me this question. So you can just ask something. Then what? Right, exactly. Then what? It's pointless. You walk away, you calm down, and play football. You're too good of a football player. But you, if you keep trying, I'm going to sit you down for three games or maybe more. You keep trying. Hell, I already sat you down for half the summer. But you just don't get it. Now, if you're a freshman, I, I get it. But you know that. Come on. Come on. I'm trying, I'm trying to let the offense lean on you. You're supposed to be that guy. Touchdowns and we look strong. We just gotta come out faster than usual, you know. It took us some time after that first drive, but we'll be ready right next time. Coach B, you got my I don't I don't know. Is one of these yours? Uh that one right there. Yeah, you have me. Mine right, game back. We're not paying them. I'll play them, but we're not paying them. They're division one. You know, all D1 teams on our schedule, right? All the out of conference teams, but D1 teams, right? Our coaching staff, we read a lot of books this offseason. I read one uh, that Nick Saban wrote, uh, excuse me, Phil Savage wrote about Nick Saban in Alabama and how they go about preparing and how you have to find what a kid can do well. A kid tore his ACL, he lost a step. Alabama moved him from corner to safety into becoming a first-round pick, and we tried to take that to our program, is that we don't necessarily have first-round picks, but we say find what the kid can do well and put him in that situation to be successful. Then we read a book uh, about De La Salle, the school out of California, I think won, won 125 games in a row, it's a national record, and there is so much attention to detail. So this training camp is all about detail. Take the right step, take the right back pedal, run the right coverage, make the right read, and if it's not done right, it's done again. And we're doing that over and over and over again during two-a-days to make sure that our kids understand that the very little details will be the difference between victory and defeat. Okay, give me a chance. Give me a On the board.
cafeteria is still in the same spot. It can't be said any more than this. These are some of the highest expectations the Cleveland Heights team has had because a lot of people are talking about us and they are curious to see. And when we hit that field on the 20th against North Canton Hoover, people are going to expect to see a show. So what happened is we got to get better. Coaches included. Coaches, we weren't ready. We're letting these guys down. we got to be better. Everybody. Even the, even the, the, the managers. We don't need to get water on the field. Everybody's got to get in tune. There's too, too much conversation. Too much conversation, not enough coaching, not enough teaching. That's on me. I promise you, we'll get it correct. I promise you. You gotta get better, don't hang your heads. It is what it is. You got punched in the mouth tonight. Now how are you gonna respond moving forward? Because now we're gonna go to North Canton Hoover 
in an environment where stands are gonna be full of people. Where it's gonna be a bunch of refs, I don't know. I knew the whole referee crew. I wasn't gonna argue a call. It's, it's silly to argue a call. It's silly. When we as coaches argue a call, that means we don't know what to tell you. you just gotta get through it. Because there's going to be bad calls next week, I promise you. It'll be five or more bad calls. Are you gonna step up and play or are you gonna keep screaming and hollering from the sidelines? So we're going to get better. Hopefully it's a wake up call for everybody. It's a wake up call for me.